What the actual heck is this? At one point, this was a brush. This is what happens when I oil paint. I don't really use that, to be honest. Here's another one. What the hell? Okay. I haven't used these in two years, and I'm sure that they're absolutely... Oh god, I didn't even think about getting them open. That, children. Oh no, my pegboard. Flaw with peg cord. Wow, that's... Wow, this is literally just gonna be getting these open. This is ridiculous. Ah, uh, okay. It opened! Oh my god! The simple joys of life. Gotta love them more than pants. Alright. Thick and gooey till the end. I like it. Uh. <laughs> oh, I hate opening these. I've like ripped my finger open opening these containers before. Sucked. Ooh, wow. That's. Very aggressive right now. Alright. Uh. That's easy. Ah, and I want yellow because yellow is the greatest. Oh my god, that one just opened. Wow. Good day in the life of Allison. Wow. You know. It's been a while since I've painted. I'm probably gonna need more paint. I'm probably gonna need less paint. I don't know what I'm doing. So it's fine. Whatever. Uh, it's Ah! I'm gonna rip my finger open again. It's gonna be great. The secret to opening old oil paint. Bang it on a counter like you would a jar. And if that doesn't work, run it under really hot water for a while. Then they usually shut the heck up and just open for you. Oh, I forgot how weird this smell. Burn, see that. I am such a weird person. The first, like, ten minutes of this video was literally just me opening containers of paint. For which I apologize. 
I forgot that it's so awful to open. This works. Uh, I will try to give somewhat, maybe, ooh, wow, that white just opened. I think I only used it once, which probably explains why I just opened it like magical, sweet butter. What the hell? Ew. Yeah, I forgot it was that gross. That's disgusting. That is disgusting. looks like curdled cheese. Some sexy nonsense right here. And by sexy, I mean really disgusting. Really kind of grossed me out. Anywho, I'm just gonna... Uh, I had paper towels. when I do stuff, and this is also what I'm doing this time. I don't really know why I do this, but I start with like the really dark colors. I'm just gonna throw in... Wait, I guess I should paint some eyebrows under this, shouldn't I? It's probably not a horrible idea. Wow, this is gonna be really weird. And I usually... I'm that weird person that I don't tend to uh, mix my paint on a canvas. I just sort of paint it straight on and mix it on whatever the heck I'm painting on. In this case, a mask. So I'm just, I don't know, I want this to be like kind of creepy, like Tim Burton-y stylized. Like, I'm not like straight up Tim Burton, but like, you know, the kind of half-dead, sallow expression kind of thing that he has going on a lot of his stuff. So I'm just gonna do that. Come in with like a little lighter blue, because I like a lot of blue under the eyes. Because it makes everything look marvelously dead. <laughs> Some, some blue, and we'll probably come back in with some uh, red, which is this uh, permanent alzern words. I don't know. Something crimson. It's like the only red I have, and it's disgustingly punchy. And then let's give some random yellow highlights here. And on the nose. I usually do the red last because it just like obliterates everything under it. Uh, random highlighting. It's probably gonna make the cheeks really weird and orange. Ah! I didn't want to blow on the lips. <laughs> I will tilt this up slightly. Yes. Uh, I guess some more yellow, like on the forehead. Wow. If this do if this turns out, I think it'll be actually kind of cool looking. Right now, it's just terrifying. But I also really like this look, so we're gonna just keep going. At some point, I'll probably come back and just add some like straight, horrible blobs of like orange to this because I can. It's my painting, damn it! I'll do whatever I please. <laughs> I hope this oil paint sticks too. I was in one of the. Oh, red, red. I like I like some red on that nose. This is this this amount of red is going to overpower everything. Like I put that on pretty thin and it's just gonna come back and just destroy everything. I put way too much blue on there. This is a terrible brush for what I'm trying to do. Oh lord, oh my, oh lord, oh lord. Getting a little heavy handed with this red. So all I did to prep this, and I don't know if this is gonna work, I've never tried this before. Uh, wow, this is like some terrifying, like, dead clown makeup. This, this, this is creepy. Anywho, um, it might be time to start with some white. I usually don't like adding white, but whatever. Uh, but, uh, I glued, so all I did, this is just, uh, this PLA on the back. I coated it with, uh, XTC 3D, because it's all I had. Uh, I figured it would strengthen it, because my print is pretty thin. Um, and then I sort of sanded that to rough it up a little bit. Like, I wasn't trying to get it smooth because I'm applying this oil paint so thick, it's absolutely not gonna make a difference. What the heck the print looks like underneath. I kinda just want it to not fall apart. Um, too much blue on my brush. Um, 
And then... What am I saying? Yes, this is definitely a naturalistic skin color. It's beautiful. That's way too much red. Uh, it's uh, real creepy. I have this little head in the background, but I'm gonna try to use this reference because I kind of like the way I painted it. I, mean, I think I need my sad young brush. Or just whatever brush is casually hanging out. This one maybe will work better. Oh, this is, it's been it's been a long time. I'm just sort of grabbing whatever I have in hand. Um, what was I saying? But yeah, so print XTC 3D, sanded to give it some grit, coated with acrylic paint, uh, just to seal it. And I, I don't know. I've never painted oil paint on XTC 3D, but I painted it onto. Uh, uh, what am I saying? I have painted it onto oil paints, acrylic paints. So I'm bad at painting and talking, my apologies. Uh, <laughs> but um, yeah, so I figured maybe it'll stick to the acrylic and that's the blue color. Um, and I just like using blue because it's, I put a lot of blue in my skin colors, usually whenever I'm doing stuff. Um, and the key, so if you ever want to make black with uh, acrylic or oil, in my opinion, this, I mean, this used to be like the straight blue color and now it's, I'm adding some um, burnt umber burnt sienna, sorry. Um, so I usually will mix my own black instead of buying two black, because I think two black is really gross. So watch uh, this blue color here. I'm just gonna add a little uh, burnt umber to it. And that was possibly too much burnt umber, but you can see it's like a, it's a much more muted blacky, sort of not bright blue color. Um, but yeah, I always mix my own Ooh, this is ugly. <laughs> this is real ugly. Um, I should just like do one thing and not. This is. I'm, I'm bad at narrating while I do stuff. Apparently, this is. Not really sure how well this is working out. I figured I'd try something new today instead of just having some awful silent video. But uh, we'll see. We'll see if I keep want to talk. Uh, this is really gross looking. Usually, I would not start with yellow as a skin color. I am just not really paying attention to what I'm doing right now. Hopefully when I'm done, this will be better looking. Huh. I have no faith in this right now, because it looks awful. I also usually add the white closer to the end, because the white... Once you add white, it's kind of impossible to go back from white, because it's... Yay, my print is done. Now that cannot be on the background. Shining. Um, oh, that's so much better. Ooh, now I can turn the light down. Um, once you add white, it's pretty hard to come back from. Uh, cause it, excuse me, it'll, it just sort of hangs around on your canvas and it makes everything less saturated. So I usually add the white like way later. Okay, I kind of don't hate this, but it's also really weird <laughs> looking. I don't know, I, don't, I didn't really have a plan when I started, I just sort of sat down and I'm like, I'm gonna paint this and whatever happens, happens, and that's, yeah, that's what I'm doing. This is terrifying. <laughs> this. You get to listen to me singing. I'm honestly not sure which is worse. Oh, I missed oil paint. This is fun. It looks like trash, but that doesn't make it less fun to smear the paint around. Now I'm just sort of randomly covering everything in white like a crazy person. You know, this is kind of cool. I'm not going to leave it like this, but it's, it's creepy. But kind of cool like this, almost. It wants to be cool. It wants to be the cool kid. 
Well, you're not gonna be there. Okay, why? Well, why? Well, I'm just gonna stop. I might just smooth out some of these colors and see if I can get something sort of blended and I'll go back in and attack it with really aggressive crazy colors or something. I don't remember even usually when I end up doing impressionistic stuff like this it's because I don't like whatever the underpainting is. I've never really set out to just do an impressionistic painting. That's weird because this is all like for some reason it's like the hardest style for me. I find it easier to I can't do like photorealistic, but I find it easier to match something realistic and make something realistic looking with faces than I do to do something like crazy stylized. And of course, jam that oil paint right in those nostrils. Gotta love nose paint, guys. Hey, look how bad the bottom of this print is. Look how bad it is. It's so great. Uh, I'm just gonna jam some paint in there. And you wonder why my brushes are all destroyed. I don't really know if you can possibly wonder that after watching the paint for all of 10 seconds. real crazy with this. Just start throwing color on. Why not? It can't possibly look any worse than this. I think I actually put out way too much paint. Just get some, uh, some nice cheek blush going there with some burnt sienna. It looks like I have a mustache on my cheeks. That is fantastic. It is the color I will use. That's an eyebrow. It's the color I will use for my eyebrows. And then just come back in with some random bits of red. Oh yeah, look how horrible that is. I, might, I can't decide if this is going to be like a technicolor thing or if it's going to be something that's trying to be naturalistic. I just know I want a lot of paint on this. That's all I know. Oh yeah, those are uh, well-rendered lips there. <laughs> I went to college with a girl for like a year. Uh, she ended up leaving, but I. She had like a weird thing where she'd make all her noses really, like really red, like her noses and the tips of her ears. And I apparently have become kind of fond of that as a style. <laughs> kind of try to be a little less uh, completely insane by the eyes. Oh yes, look at that disgusting, sickly look with the cheek stash. It's beautiful. That beautiful, I mean, god awfully terrifying. Happy creepy red eyelids. Hopefully the camera view is decent. I tried to put as much backlighting behind the window as I could, but I do need the light from the window or else I can't see because my office is trashy and dark. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Alright, oh yeah, and then I have like these weird little, uh, my god, what are they called? These like weird lines, and I just can't, I can't remember what they're called. But uh, let's get some more red in here. Just throw in some red, maybe, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm being really foolhardy with this red. This stuff goes, and you just can't, 
this is like white except worse. You just can't get rid of it once it's in and I'm just like throwing it everywhere like a maniac. And this, children, is why I do not apply makeup. <laughs> Look at that. This is like a five-year-old trying to apply makeup for the first time. And frankly, I am fairly certain that that would in fact be better than whatever this is. But anyway. Alright, um, let's throw in some blue, because I like that real dead look. And some blue, and come back in with some white and make that even grosser looking. Or green. I should buy green paint because I, for some reason, am legitimately incapable of mixing green. Whatever blues I have in the yellow do not make nice greens, especially bright greens. It's quite irritating. Well, my acrylic ones I did a while back looked way better than this. This is terrible. <laughs> but that's the thing. When you sit down to do this stuff, you gotta just be like, this might turn out like trash. Because if you're like, oh no, like... This, this, oh god, wow. This, this does look awful. This is terrifying. But if you're like, oh, this looks awful, I don't want to do this anymore, then you stop. You learn nothing, you make nothing, you don't improve, and frankly, it's just fun to make this. It looks like trash, but I'm having fun right now. It's also really awkward narrating, like myself, do this. I don't know, I usually don't do this. I keep saying that, it feels weird to me. I don't know, wow, this is not what I intended. Okay, what if I add in some blue? Usually, whenever I paint, I make colors out of colors that are not supposed to be those colors. Like, for the cheeks, I want, like, a darker skin tone, so I'm mixing red and blue to make, like, a sort of purple with whatever the hell is under there, which I honestly don't even know what that is at this point. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I just, that's, that's like, my thing when I paint skin tones, is use... Damn, that's terrifying. I hate this so much. Wow. But that's my thing when I paint skin tones, uh, is I usually don't use the colors you'd expect. You expect, like, oh, like a skin tone. You start with, like, an orange or something. Like, a, maybe, 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 a like, yellow and burnt sienna. And I'm like, what if I make my skin tone out of red and blue and then add white and then add, like, green? <laughs> and then somehow I come out with something that doesn't look completely horrible and I honestly, like, I don't know, it just, it sort of works for me. It's weird, but it, it, it's just what I do. Ever since when I took a painting class in college, uh, my teacher was like, yeah, for acrylics, never use two black, use burnt sienna and, uh, ultramarine blue or whatever the heck the color thing was. And, uh, <laughs> I was like, oh my god, it makes black! And then I got really excited, and now I, like, don't use black, and I just mix all these, like, weird colors together. And that's... So I blame him for whatever this madness is, and I'm actually mixing stuff on the on the palette now because whatever's that. So remember, and I was like, yeah, like white and yellow, and <laughs> that's what I'm doing. Um, but it still looks really garish and weird. So if it looks garish and weird like this does, I might add like a little bit of blue. Let's see what that does, and that just made it. Oh look, remember I was saying I can't make green. <laughs> I made green. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just doing some. It's been a while. This. Oh, it feels so weird. Alright, I think I might even come back into some white because I can't tell what is happening anymore. This is frankly horrible. Part of me regrets that I'm live streaming this right now, even though I'm pretty sure there's no one actually watching this. Is there anyone watching this? Let's see. Yeah, I think I'm the only one watching this right now, but uh, it's mighty terrifying. <laughs> It does get kind of less gross when I start making this paint really thin. I kind of regret this project. I don't know what I was hoping for, but it's not this. But I'm going to keep going. See what I can make here. Maybe it'll turn out better than I could have expected. In fairness, my hopes are not high right now. <laughs> it is hard to be disappointed when this is your baseline. So it would probably help if I wash my brush, but like I said, I hate washing my brush because I'm crazy. I think I made this too dark too. This cheek is just like horrifying. And this is why most people probably mix their colors before putting it directly on whatever they're painting. 
so wish I had a better stick on this. It is really flimsy. I glued a stick in the back so I could hold it without mushing my fingers and all the paint. Not really sure if it's doing anything, but it's there and I'm gonna use it, so. Do -do -do. I think I might just go really rainbow with this. I don't think there's another option because I've uh, put so much weird colored paint on this that I just don't have. I can't mix it. It'll take me 20 minutes to paint this and it's gonna come out looking terrible. I'm gonna be sad. It's all right. It's been fun. This will be the thing that gets me back into oil painting out of after two years. I'll, I'll take that. <laughs> and then I also might not wear this out of shape, but that's, <laughs> in which case it'll hang on my wall. And Look terrifying forever. This thing is really ugly. Maybe I should just palette knife it. No, that feels too aggressive for right now. Far too aggressive. I really see a difference. What? I really see a difference. You mean? Yo, look at my hideous mask I just started painting. Cool. No, it's yeah, hideous. It looks like human heads. What do you think? I don't like it. It's unsettling. I mean, I was going for unsettling. I just think it's creepy. It's like not what I wanted. Yeah. But uh, it is. It is unsettling. That was. <laughs> Possibly the most accurate way to describe this. Oops. Run in and add some highlights here so I can see what the hell I'm doing. I think there's usually highlights like right here, and then here, and then these big highlights here. There's that like little bump on the side of your head. That's a thing. And then on the chin. I hate this less now, but it's still really creepy. All right, and then I feel like the brow would have some kind of. Perhaps. Oh yes, this is better. This is this is how I like painting. Just aggressively smeared. This is gonna take like three weeks to dry. It's gonna be fantastic. Uh, so then I'm some yellow in there. Amazed I've used so little paint on this stuff. So I say as I aggressively glob paint on. <laughs> I'm used to a canvas. It's like bigger and it's the paint. Y you put it on, it just like gets sucked in. It just sort of hangs out here. It's cool though. I mean, I hope this works. Like the, I hope the paint doesn't peel off. I had someone in one of the uh, 3D printing Facebook groups I'm in warn me that the paint might peel off. Like they used oils on miniatures, and then if you don't prime it really well, the the oil paint sometimes. What the hell color is that? The oil paint sometimes will like peel off. So uh, obviously I'm hoping that doesn't happen here because I didn't prime it with anything but acrylic paint. And I'm hoping to wear this for Halloween, which is in 37-ish days or something. I don't know. I'm painting, I'm not doing math right now. Shush. No one judge me. Uh, Throw in some yellow. I don't really know what I'm doing. Oh god, I'm gonna have to come back to the eyebrows. That's upsetting. 
What if I, I don't know, the lips is like a little blue. Wow, I should probably, uh, before I start throwing blue on the lips, wipe the white off. Just dump that in there. What, it used to be a really good... Oh yeah, it was that red and then, uh... That red and the light cerulean blue or whatever used to make a pretty nice uh, purplish color, if I recall. I have a bunch of colors, I'm just too lazy to open the bottles. <laughs> Thus, art is born. <laughs> art is born through laziness. Yeah, if you came into a class and just like saw someone wearing this, because the only reason I'm really making this is because uh, Halloween is on a Wednesday and I'm teaching an animation class on Wednesday, and I never do anything for Halloween because I never go anywhere. Oh lord. Nice. Nice. Nice! <laughs> just getting oil paint everywhere too. I'm usually really clean about painting. Um, I never go anywhere and I never dress up because I'm like, what's the point? So now I'm just going to traumatize all my students. Because what is the point of teaching if you can't traumatize college-age students on Halloween? I mean, honestly. Hopefully, I, I would, I'd love to ride this in on public transit, but uh, I feel like that's probably a bad idea. Might not stop me, though. Usually I can get away with anything because I look- I'm like tiny and unassuming and I look like a bloody 16 year old. So I feel like, you know, authorities or whatever are sort of like, oh whatever, like a, they're just there, right? And then, I don't know, I bring like prop weapons and stuff and it's like, oh god, why? Um, uh, but uh, yeah, I feel like if I was wearing this it'd be a little, <laughs> little weird. <laughs> just like chilling on public transit while wearing this. I hate this less now. It's. I don't really know if you can see it. I have. One day I'm gonna get curtains for this window so it's not backlit. I'm sorry that today is not that day. What if I. Maybe I can move it. I'm gonna move the camera real quick. I think it might be better. I'm sorry if anyone is actually watching this and you get super motion sick for like 10 seconds. But I can't do this one covering the camera lens. Blah. I see my hideous office. You can see in the stream that the stream is just spinning around in space. Okay. Yeah. 3D printer. Ooh, yeah, this is, seems slightly better for lighting. Perhaps is this yeah, it feels feels ever so slightly less horrible. Hopefully you get slightly less awful lighting now. Where is my phone? Now you can kind of see my mouth too, at least. This is... This feels better. Is this, is this better? This isn't inherently better. Wait, what if I... Steal these light bulbs? said these LEDs are supposed to be a uh, low heat output. They lied to me. <laughs> they lied and got me good. Oof. Just a 
casually tie these light bulbs onto my 3D printer, which is definitely the sanest course of action here. light on, which I'm pretty sure does nothing, but uh, hopefully this is less awful. Sorry, lighting. Sorry. That's why it was really overpowering. Uh, we're gonna run with it. Okay. I'm gonna run with it. What am I doing? It matches my peg blue. Alright. that in casually. I feel like this is at least a better angle because for some reason this is the way I was end up turning the mask anyway. I'm sorry if the lighting is trash. One day I'm gonna get blinds and or set up some kind of actual lighting setup but I am simply not equipped to do that right now. So instead you get this. <laughs> And the thing is, I also wanted the paint to be thicker. You can still see, how can you still see print lines under this? What is happening? <laughs> this madness. Okay, now let's blend that in. I don't really know. I'm just doing things. And I'm gonna use some more red over here. And I also have some yellow. Why is my brush so much blue? Because I'm using a lot of blue. Would seem like the logical thing to conclude there. But actually, there's so much blue in my brush, I just can't get it out. Big gobs of yellow. This is like some creepy unholy clown mask. I love it. No, I still have no real feelings about this yet. If I saw this, I'd look at it and be like, wow, that's a really trashy attempt to paint a human face. I think I just need a better skin color. I think that's that's what I need here. Half the time I just cheat and use burnt sienna because I'm bad. Remember all I was going on about like five minutes ago about like, oh, you use weird colors. Sometimes I'm lazy, damn it. By sometimes I mean a lot. This is weird though. I've never paint. I never oil painted on like a rounded surface like this. Lob it in there. I feel like that should be blue. I don't know. Like I said, I'm just doing stuff. Don't really know what the hell I'm actually doing. Let's take these like, weird bulbs in the side of your head. And just a small in there. Do I have? It's in the basement. Sort of creepy thin flesh. Oh yeah. Get some of that up here. It's like my thing. I love I love putting in a bunch of blue. And it feels very Tim Burton-y and I'm just like, ah, oh, but I've been doing this forever. By forever I mean since I started painting, which is not a very long time ago. Perhaps perhaps just make this. I don't know. I feel like mad scientist Bob Ross now right now. Uh, but without the actual skill involved, because I, Bob Ross practices and like knows what he's doing, and I'm just like, I'm hey, doing something crazy, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> who knows? One day, I'm gonna also get like a nice like stick. <gasps> I could put it in my pegboard. That would be great. Be like overhead camera, and I'm just like, oh, a pegboard on both walls, and I can make like 3D print a little pegboard notch. So I run a really long dowel over and then just like suspend a camera. Yeah, that'd be sweet. That'd be so sweet. Okay. Uh, I think I need more white in the cheeks. Or should I go with straight yellow? Maybe I'll go with straight yellow because I'm feeling crazy, but I think I'm gonna desaturate this a bit. It feels mildly excessive. Sadly, the nose is the closest thing to like a not completely terrifying skin tone I have, which is weird because it's mostly just white and yellow. 
<laughs> and then whatever happened to be in my brush. White. Oh god. <laughs> the cheese curd that's on my brush. Ugh. That's something I would usually avoid doing at all costs. Just throwing the entire brush, including the metal handle part, into uh, white oil paint. But, uh, whatever. <laughs> I don't know what to think about this at this point. It's mighty creepy. I could always just wipe some paint off if I don't want to. I'm just dabbing the paint off like a maniac. I don't even know what I'm doing right now. So what matters is scaring my class on Halloween, but that's <laughs> sort of the secondary goal. Or at least I pretend it is. <laughs> oh wow, suddenly that actually looks more like skin. Not sure if you can tell, but uh, it does. It does actually look more like skin color now. Yellow, 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 yellow. So eventually you just put enough colors on and they just make some kind of neutral gray enough that's sort of close enough to be a skin tone. Yeah, this thing is terrifying. This. I guess I should try to match my skin tone a little more instead of just making something arbitrary. What is you know, my skin is like... I think I put too much color on. I think I've gone too far. I've gone too far to make this my skin. But I'm gonna try. <laughs> Just don't worry about it being bad. Don't worry if it sucks. If it sucks, and you haven't been live streaming this like I have, you can just hide it in a closet. No one will ever know. And then just chalk it up to a learning experience and be like, yes, I have, I have done a thing and I have gained experience of Something. I don't know, I think it's good to just try things. I used to do fancy cake decorating, and I used to do... It's really upsetting me that the yellow is the closest thing to my skin color that I just have. But, uh, <laughs> moving on. I used to do uh, fancy cake decorating, and I made a bunch of stuff out of cardboard. I made a bunch of other weird stuff, and I'm just like, wow, I can use... Now I can use all of this to do other things, and it's, I don't know, it sounds like really, like, college admission like, BS, but, I don't know, all oh, the arts interrelated, but, like, it kind of is, like, that's the one thing about, like, college admissions that I wasn't bullshitting was, like, all art is related, I think, so, like, the more you do, just, like, the more you, the more you do, like, I don't know, right now I'm combining fine art with 3D printing, but if I wasn't doing that, I'd probably just be painting this like a realistic face color, which is still painting, but like, to do that either way, you need to have an understanding of how paint works, but also like what a face looks like, which clearly this isn't trying to be realistic. But anyway, but like, I don't know, you see what I'm saying? It's just like, if you painted a bunch of models, it would make it, I think it would make it easier to paint like a face, at least with good colors, even if the, uh, even if, like, the proportions and the drawing is kind of off, like, the shadowing and stuff might still be there. I don't know. I'm just saying things again. I'm more focused on my painting. <laughs> than I am on <laughs> saying the randoms for you. I'm not even sure if you can see the painting, which is upsetting, but we're gonna keep going. <laughs> keep going with this video and some pictures and... Well, hopefully you guys will find this indescribably terrifying. I'm, f I'm, I'm, I'm hopeful that this oil paint will stick. I really am. Yeah, this thing is ungodly terrifying. Wow. This, uh, <laughs> it's creepier than my wildest dreams. <laughs> Just grab some random blue and throw it on the head because I can. Put this in white and just 
dab it around. Again, you can see why I do not have decent paintbrushes anymore. I don't know, I was really curious. I mean, it has like really nicely painted masks and stuff. I'm like, what happens if you like fine art this to death and just make it awful? Oh yeah, that's a little bit. That was always like, that was like right here under the eye. There's like always that little dark patch. Okay, I'm just gonna get off. My brush, look, look how much crap is on my brush right now. It's a pretty nice color. Oh yeah. Yes, it's much better. Grab some blue and just throw it in that like weird little eyeshadow thing. I might grab some more blue and just dab it into that little uh, hole by the eye. Divot in your face. No one wants your Spotify commercial. Spotify. One day I'll pay for premium. Today is not that day. Today is not that day. Oh, I think I should fix it. Ooh, that's better. Nice. I like the texture. Though. The texture is getting closer to what. Oh god. It is getting closer to what. Blue and that, ooh, yeah. Fun fact, this little divot in the face is called the philatrum. I learned that from a homework planner in middle school and I never forgot it. <laughs> Sadly, that's one of the things that's actually served me most that I ever learned out of middle school, which is sad. It's truly very sad. Oh yeah, and I always have this like weird red patch on my forehead, so I'm just, UNIBROW! Yes. Oh my god, it's fantastic. Oh my god, I hate this so much. It's amazing. Look at this hideous caveman nonsense. Oh, that's amazing. You know, I should have set this up somewhere else and the backlight would have been behind me. That would have made sense. It's, bothered. it's gonna keep bothering me. Uh, you guys get to keep listening to it. Uh -huh. I apologize. Cheeks are too flat. I have more of them. Remember those like giant black marks I put in here when I first started? <laughs> what happened to that? They're just gone now. They're gone. It's fine. If I want that to be bluer, what if I close my eye? Oh I did buy a bright green. That's coming out later. Oh shoot. Add me red I want. Damn it. I've been using the wrong red. Jason? No! I'm talking to myself slash the camera awkwardly. I'm doing like macabre Bob Ross. That's apparently like what happens when I ramble while painting. Do it now? Yeah. Ow. I really do hate opening these. Just ignore me banging paint on the desk. Flyer time. Oh, come on. Alex! What? Can you do me a favor? What? Can you take this paint and run it under hot water? I'm too weak to open it and I'm like trapped at my desk. I need this paint opened, and I can't open it. Uh, can you run it under hot water? I'm opening up this paint, all right. What? Can I just try opening it? I mean, yeah, you can also just try opening it with actual real person hands. Is the word just to loosen it up? Yeah. You just opened it, didn't you? Huh? Did I, I pull it out? Or a screw? It's a screw. Then I'll also, like, I've, I've cut my finger open on them before. <laughs> if I, like, slip and... People watching you right now? Uh, it, someone was like half a second ago and then they left. Um, <laughs> they're probably like, wow, this is trash. And I can't entirely disagree with this.
Yay! Thank you. You can just close it. It's, I just haven't opened these in two years. They're really hard to get. Ow! Thank you. I think. <laughs> uh, ultimate red. Oh, that's so much better. Wow. No wonder I couldn't open those. Disgusting. Oh, yeah. That's the punchy nonsense I want. There's only one red was so dark. Just added far too much color to this. <laughs> the lighting here really is gross. I really don't care, but I also can't see what the hell I'm doing. Which is uh, very annoying. So I'll just throw a crap ton of lot of white back on here to see what happens. should be mixing my colors before randomly throwing them onto my face. I don't want to do that. It's not fun.
sort of smacking this with paintbrush. I'm almost out of white. I go through a lot of white. I also like painting in monochrome, which explains why I go through a lot of white. Oh, the edge is pretty clean. better. I don't know what I want right now. <laughs> like, I like the forehead, but it doesn't look at all like skin. And I was going for something that was just like an oil painted version of my face, which I guess this is. I don't know. I'm just going to keep adding white and see what happens. I'm always drawn to obnoxiously bright colors, so maybe, it, maybe once I tone it down properly, you know, calm the hell down. I used to watch a dude on YouTube. I think, I think his I think his channel was like Peter Draws. He's a fantastic artist. Be sort of talk about nothing when he paints, and it was comedy to listen to. But he always talked really slow, and I wondered why. And now I know. <laughs> it's really hard to draw and paint at the same time, and try to make something that doesn't look terrible, but also say something that's not totally asinine. It's a huge nose blob there. a bit. I think I might start coming back in with more color. Just like, the color thing I just I'm crazy about that. Mm, I don't know. I don't know what I want to do. <laughs> Someone tell me what to do. <laughs> I think I'm just going to come in with a bit of, a bit of this. It also would help if I like, had a picture of me in front of me, but I kind of don't I mean I do, but it's not a good picture. It's like washed out. I can't see what's happening. Yes, I think I need to warm up here. That's sort of my go to make the skin look less like you painted it with Crayola crayons. Uh, which is effectively what I've been doing. It's fine. I'll call that sort of rosy blush on the cheeks or something. Maybe? I don't know. So much paint on this. It makes me happy. Alright, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling I hate it less now. It just never helps if I have crazy technicolors kicking around and then I go out with crazy technicolors and I'm like, but the technicolors, cause I'm a color junkie person. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Uh maybe some the rest of it here. trying to make a face that doesn't look totally god awful. Uh, honestly not sure. I'll darken. Where's that big head dimple? I'm gonna put it right here. Good. I'll shake that. And then just come in here. Disgusting bump. It's white everywhere. Okay, 
close. Yes. Sort of getting rid of the really excessive coloring around the eyes. And then I'll go back in and I'll add like, blend in a little bit of, uh... oh yeah, it looks better. And I'll go back in and add like a little bit of red and stuff like that later. Um, what I've been doing is blending the side and having whatever color I have there and putting it back on the eyes. I guess I took all of the crazy colors that I had and I got rid of them completely and then I'm going to put them back when there's more paint and they're less like insanely punchy. You can still see, you can still see that sort of hint of blue around the eye, which I like because it makes them look sickly. <laughs> which I feel like isn't something you usually hear people shooting for when they're doing paintings like this. You know, it's like, oh, I want this eye, I want this person to look half dead. Oh yeah, this totally looks like a person. Sort of. Uh, color's a little weird. It's getting there. <laughs> it's getting there. It's a very harsh line of burnt sienna. Hopefully you can maybe see this better. Very harsh line of sort of uh, burnt sienna. I've been adding back in around the eyebrows and some common slap that back into the forehead, literally just slapping with the side of my brush, as if I'm, I don't know, beating a carpet, <laughs> except it's a very disgusting oily color from carpet. <laughs> I guess ca carpets are colorful, so it's not entirely a stretch. I don't know what I'm saying. Oh, uh, oh god, it's on my, it's on my leg! I'm usually real good about not getting oil paint. Like, I can paint in fancy clothes and be fine. Um, well, yeah, that makes it... Damn, that's terrifying. It's, like, just stylized enough to be stylized and just realistic enough to be real unsettling. I think I might push it back a little towards the stylized, because I... I'd rather have something good and stylized than not good and because it's it like wants to be realistic but it's just not quite there and then it's just really awkward because <laughs> i don't think i'm better apparently i think i'm better at doing uh impressionistic crazily colored stuff as flat pieces and while i am okay with this looking ridiculous i would like to not ruin it for the sake of ruining it <laughs> Here. It's always important when you're working to step back, or in this case, take the mask and just hold it away from your face in different, better lighting. Or just to step away, because then you can see the whole thing, instead of, like, whatever I'm looking at under the chin right now, for example. Yeah, you can still see all the print lines, that's okay. Well, not on the rest of the face, but under, under the chin, which is pretty bad. There's a pores, I just didn't even bother to pick them off, because I'm a lazy piece of crap. Um, Scarily, this is actually getting closer to my skin color the more random nonsense I do to this. I realized I had a head divot on the other. I think I even want the paint thicker. Like, I might. Should I take a palette knife to this? I feel like I'll end really badly because it's a curved surface. But I really want to. Ooh, I don't know. I'm just gonna end so bad. a bit of blue on there, because I for some reason really like blue around the eyes like that. It's satisfyingly creepy. Oh god. And do the other side. Because I am still going for like creepy kind of dead looking person here. <laughs> that was my goal when I started, and I... So help me, I will achieve this goal. Real terrifying. <laughs> Alright. Um it's like it's red and just a random mix of red and something else. I don't really know. I'm just trying to not have straight red on my brush because stuff is intense. I'm just gonna dot that lightly on. Wow, 
That's creepy. Okay. It's creepy, but I don't like it. So. Looks better up close than it does far away. Ooh, yeah, 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 the blue and the red was the trick. That was the bit. Okay, so I'm just gonna do the red, I'm just gonna add the red. So I'm just gonna add the blue. I need dark blue, I'm pretty sure I'm using ultramarine. Or I think that's what it's called. Damn, it's been a while since I painted. Don't even remember like the basic blue paint color. I think I'm using uh, ultramarine blue here that I honestly just grabbed, whatever. I know I have phthalo blue. P-T-H-A-L-O. Phthalo, I think. I think that's how you say it. I think that's how you spell it. I could be wrong on both counts. <laughs> Notoriously bad at spelling. Um, but, uh, yeah, that tube of paint just sort of exploded fantastically and leaked disgusting oily goo just everywhere. So I haven't really used it in a while because I just didn't want to deal with it. <laughs> just adding a bit of blush back in, just a hint of red will cover pretty much the entire flipping cheek. Also be a little, a little too much red. <laughs> like I said, drop of red goes a very long way. Especially if you're trying to do something not terrifyingly stylized and just creepy. Now I smooth the lips out. Because the, the one thing that a lot of times people will do if they're painting, it's like a weird, I don't want to say beginner mistake, um, but like thing that will, if you're going for realistic lips that will make them look really unnatural is having like a hard line of color. So I just went in and I just blotted all the uh, lip color I had back into the skin and you can see it, and this is like really fuzzy what I have here, but you can see it looks more naturalistic than having like a super hard lipstick line kind of thing. And in my case, I'm definitely going for lipstick line because I have only worn makeup like five times in my life. Because <laughs> it's a pain and it's also expensive to start. So for grins, like the first time I wore makeup, I'm like, oh, I have to go out and get makeup stuff. And to get like a lipstick, a foundation, and like a eyeliner, it was like $80 by the time I got, I, I might be lying, it was like $50 by the time I got like, an eyeliner that wasn't trash that I could actually use and the time I got like a wrong lipstick color and I'm like wow this is I don't know there there is an art to putting on makeup and I appreciate it uh, but I am far too lazy for that kind of effort every day and it's also expensive I would rather spend my money on coral or paint or crafting stuff for a tiny lathe I realized that they have one on Amazon for about $144 and I was very strongly considering buying it, and I, oh no, I just got oil paint all over my laptop. Damn it. <laughs> uh, but yes, I've been wanting to do uh, lathe stuff for a while, like rings and such. Because that's most of what I have on my Etsy right now is rings, and I think it'd be fun to actually make some in-house instead of having them all farmed out. Excuse me, to Shapeways. Not that I dislike Shapeways per se, but uh more stuff I can make in-house, the more the more time I have to spend on it, which is fine, but uh, I can I can check the quality before I send it out, whereas like Shapeways, like, sometimes people order stuff and they'll get it and be like, what, what, what the hell is this? And I'm like, I'm so sorry, that, that does look real bad. Uh, and then I'll, you know, usually refund them or see if Shapeways can issue a reprint or something, because it's, I've had someone order something in like a what used to be their stainless steel option and is now the rustic steel, which I'm pretty sure they just sort of did as a marketing thing to justify why it is never the same color or sheen, um, which is clever, I suppose, but also 
quite irritating. Uh, but anyway, what used to be a stainless steel and someone expected, you know, like a nice looking shiny thing, and what they got looked like some unholy hybrid between like stainless steel, which is like a grayish silver, and matte bronze steel. I'm like, this is hideous. Like, I understand why you wanted to return this. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I mean, obviously I love returning because it looked terrible. But, I don't know. It's just, it's an interesting thing. I'd rather, I, I like <laughs> not using weird third-party sources to make things. Because it's, it's easier to figure out what the what the client wants and what you're capable of doing, what it looks like before it's sent out. You can send the pictures if they have like questions. I don't know. It just it just feels more personal, and I like that about being able to hand make stuff. Where sometimes people ask me things about shapeways, and I'm like, I, I can give you ship of watercolor paint. What is this? Okay. I don't know, but I, I like, I don't know what I was saying, something about something. I'm sure, I'm sure it wasn't important. But uh, yeah, I like being able to answer people's questions more directly and have specific images or specific something that I can show them, um, which I don't always have on Shapeways. Like if someone orders something and it's the first time that that's been ordered, uh, it's sent straight out to them, so I never get a chance to take product photography of it. Like I have, I have a set of dice on my Etsy shop. Um, which is the only set of dice that I have in my Etsy shop right now, but it's, uh, reasonably popular, I suppose. I don't know. But, uh, it's been ordered in pretty much every steel option that Shapeways offers. And I only have pictures of it in, like, two. Uh, because it gets sent directly to the customer, which isn't bad. Every once in a while I'll be like, hey, can I, uh, give you a discount if you let me send this to you and take product photography? But, for the most part, I don't do that, because I'm usually super busy and or I forget. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I'm just kind of rambling now. Once again, this should just be a channel called Alice and Rambles while painting real creepy stuff. <laughs> Side, you must be to the other. I don't know what that accent was. My aunt and uncle are in Ireland right now. Went to Ireland, I think, last year. Almost a year ago. Wow. Was, was it a year? Yeah, it was. Wow. Yeah, that was fun. Before my parents and I went, my parents, I'm in Philadelphia, they're in Baltimore. They uh, came to pick me up at my house, and as we were like three minutes before we walked out of the door, one of my fish tanks literally exploded. Uh, this it was like a 10 gallon, but the, the side split open. So I had to uh, clean that up real quick before we left for the airport. And then, yeah, it was just, it was, that was an interesting time. <laughs> it was real interesting. That's quite unsettling. Again, what I'm going for, but it doesn't make it less creepy. This is far too intense. Take it down, perhaps. Here. And I can't tell if I want this to have like whatever brush strokes I use, if I want it to be like uniformly lumpy. I think I might just do whatever brush strokes I use. Okay. Alright, I kind of don't hate this actually. Hey Alex! Yeah. Can I get your opinion on this? Did you bring it down? No. no. <laughs> I'm still like tied into my desk. What did I just say I was gonna do? Just, just a wee bit of blue. Mushy boy! Okay, anyway. I threw what I thought was a weird cat noise, but I think I imagined it. 
Either that or a cat's trying to break into the room that I'm sitting in. Which is where my cat lives. So that he doesn't get murdered by some of the other cats that are here. Because they for some reason try to attack him on sight because they're evil. I mean, they're cuddly, cuddly and delightful, but uh, for some reason they just don't like my cat. I'm just trying to accentuate the uh, little eye lines a little bit more. If I don't know. I'm using burnt sienna. What if there was a paint color literally called I don't know? That would be incredibly confusing. <laughs> scraping the last more white. I don't feel like putting out more paint. It's like my biggest... I just don't like opening the paint containers. Like I'm not, honestly, I am that lazy where I will try to stretch paint and make do with what I have just so I don't need to get another open paint container. Another Zarian Crimson whatever and I'm just jamming that into like the little mouth hole I made and I'm closing up the mouth hole with paint, which is not what I want to do. I like that color. It makes for nice lips. It's it's stylized and weird, but uh, it's a birdie. <laughs> it's a birdie color. Put some red on the nose, because it's not red. Friend due to the pain, but he has not responded to my summons. I assume that he is not coming, which isn't unreasonable because I'm. He's on a different floor and I'm just too lazy to get up and go look in the bathroom here. I don't know. I like any other people's opinion though, because sometimes you stare at something for so long and you're just like, what is happening right now? Like, I just don't even. I don't even know. It's really hard to see what's, what's wrong with something or what can be improved because you're just so burnt out with staring at it. So let's go up there. Blue is the hideous color. By the hideous color, I mean like the best color ever. Burnt sienna, oh my god. Just aggressively blobbing whatever color I just made into the corner of the windows. Maybe I should... Yes. Yeah, that is creepy. <laughs> If that is the goal, I am achieving it. It's, it's it's way creepier when you look at it in person than it is on the video. On the video it just sort of looks like a lumpy face, but in person it looks real weird. <laughs> but I kind of like it like that. But I think this, this over here, needs to be... Mostly on this side, I think, because I'm just... Ooh, that looks too much red. I'm just going to put it on. Why not? <laughs> there it was red that I needed my burnt sienna. Dang it. <laughs> That's okay. So much paint at this point, I'll just blend this together anyway. What the heck? Also, the one side was going to be covered by my hair, so it kind of doesn't super matter if I jack it up a bit. <laughs> Uh, but this is not that side, this is the nice side, and this is the side that I put burnt sienna on when I meant to just do red. So, now I have an awkward red corner of the mask. Uh, I'm gonna need more white. Hmm. Now I'm salty. Maybe, maybe that last little bit is enough to get me the corner, I don't know. 
it looks like some I'm, I'm I had the live stream up to make sure that's functioning how long has this been going on for I have no idea but uh it's in the video it looks like a sort of lumpy mossy uh it, it almost looks like someone made a plaster face and they put is this better I don't know hey it uh looks like a wet plaster face that's being painted Seems hella creepy. But I like it. Sort of. <laughs> I have still have mixed feelings about this thing. Can't wait till it dries and I can put it on my head and be like, <laughs> fear me. <laughs> fear this creepy, creepy face mask. Smack my brush around to see if I can uh, transfer some of it. And then, oh, but I can also steal some off the nose because I do. That was a bit excessive. Down, down in here is a lot of red. No one needs that. One would not expect this incredibly bright red to be in the skin, but uh, once you put a bunch of white in, it just sort of, if you, if you can spread it out enough, it just sort of doesn't look totally egregiously weird. It just sort of, it just sort of is. Uh, <laughs> I'd love to know what you can Someone's watching something downstairs and just sounds really funny. No idea if you can hear that or not. Oh, I have people. Ah, come on. Well, I might use this picture again if I just. How do I? How do I chat? Oh god, no one's ever actually talked to me doing this. Oh! Well, that was dumb. <laughs> Pay attention to what you're doing, kids. Encouraged to me to instead of chewing on my paintbrush like a weirdo, uh, I could actually just say the things that I said. But uh, RMC Gaming, wow! I just uh, yeah. Look, there's like cardboard marks all over my mask. That's fine. This is this is the beauty of oil paint. Uh, but uh, what was I saying? He says, "How creepy is it to paint your own face?" And I'm just like, "Oh, I've been painting my own face. I have like this little character ha character hanging out here. About seven other versions of that character I've painted." Here's like a tiny one that was 20 millimeters big. Cause I was feeling Yo, Allison. mighty eccentric. Yeah. You want some pancakes? Is that the end of the thought? No. I, I, I had a bit of pancake, I didn't finish. You want it? Uh, sure. <laughs> but not right now cause I'm covered in oil paint and I don't want to eat it. <laughs> yeah. Um. I was just offered pancakes, and I'm just like, yes, I will take them, because pancakes, but also oil paint, which is now just everywhere. Uh, I don't know what I was saying anymore. Anywho, can I get your opinion on this? What? Can I, I get your opinion? Right what? I don't want to get up right now. Blah. Someone in person. Um, I love how I'm just like dabbing paint around the eyebrows. It looks like eyebrows. But in, in real life, you can't really see it super well in the video. But uh, there's a pretty intense ring of blue. I had uh, RMC Gaming says uh, needs to play with his scanner more. Uh, he made a bust of his daughter, which could be cool. 
uh, or but this could be cool. I actually hand modeled this because um, I went to school for animation, so I learned how to do like organic modeling and stuff. So no scanner was used in the making of whatever this monstrosity is. Um, but yeah, I'd, I'd love to like, get my hands on a 3D scanner. It just they just seem fun to play with, and like they would also save time. I've gotten to a point where I can pretty much model a decent face in like two to four hours and have it look more or less like the person, but uh, scanners are just fun. I scanned- once uh, one, two, three d catch was a thing, and that was- I learned about that like five years ago when I was taking a sculpting class. Ew, it looks like flesh. That's gross. Hey, um, God, are you watching? <laughs> what? Um, no, I don't know. Are you on the phone? No, I'm, I'm- I'm talking to myself awkwardly while live streaming painting a mask of my own face. Oh, and then you heard me. Being weird, yeah. Yeah, fuck yeah. Look how fucking creepy this is. What are you live streaming on? Uh, YouTube. Oh, what's up, YouTube? Oh my god. <laughs> 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 I'm all in favor of this randomness. Yo, does this look anything like me? I'm going for, like, <laughs> creepy- yeah, kinda. I'm going for, like, creepy stylized painting, but, like, I don't really know what I'm doing. Yeah, I'm mostly is. just trying to unsettle my students on Halloween. Yeah, holy shit, it looks like you took part of your face off. What? I don't know, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> okay, you got a bright light by the, by the computer, so it's Yeah, it totally, the lighting in here is trash. All the time. It Try looks, uh, what's the texture of it? Is it, like, rough? Oh, it's oil paint. Oh. oh I, I, I've always wanted to try oil painting a 3D print, so I was gonna go as an oil painted version of myself. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Are you gonna put your, like, I have your eyes, though? Oh, yeah, my eyes fit pretty much perfectly in the hole, so it should be pretty creepy. That's terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> Your students watching? Hi, students. I don't know. There's there's some people from the Facebook groups on, but like cool. the 3D printing groups. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to do with it. I, I feel like I should call it done and just. Oh god, there's like red paint bleeding through behind the eyes. It's real gross. Yeah, I don't know. I might add some more red. I could also just make it like a Technicolor rainbow of terror, but I'm just like I don't think that's really what I want to go for. Maybe do that after Halloween. You could do something. Yeah, I'll just make it like real. Like make another one if I really want to and. Yeah. See what happens. Cool. Thank you for your thoughts. <laughs> but yeah, the, um, there used to be a program called like Autodesk One Two Three D Catch, which I learned in a sculpting class, and that was. Su Why did I just put a giant? Whatever, it's gonna be under my hair. I don't care. Um, <laughs> not paying attention to what I'm doing. But a program called One Two Three D Catch that was like a photo photogrammetry program? I have no idea how you say that or spell it. Google has to help me literally every time. But um, it worked pretty well. It was like a free weird online service. You just like take a bunch of pictures of an object and then upload them and it would make a little 3D file. And that was fun. Um, and then they got rid of it and I was sad because I, I wanted to use it. <laughs> it was fun. Um, all I got was a scan of a pumpkin and I think I still have a scan of my roommate's old head but it actually the, the head scan turned out pretty well, but it was it was a little weird because uh, the only walls we had to use were like stark white walls, and uh, my roommate was actually albino, so <laughs> um, <laughs> it didn't quite have enough contrast. We did a pretty good job on her face, um, but like her hair was just sort of it 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 just didn't even do anything. It just made like a blob, uh, and when I say blob, there was no mesh there. <laughs> it was just just got a face. Um, but yeah. Uh, I think I should just, maybe just call this done. But there's like something that still looks off about it to me. Maybe, what if I added, what if I added some of this awkward yellow color to the jawline? I don't really know what I'm doing. This is how I paint, I just add colors randomly. I also don't have a connect. Like, I've... I know you can use them for things, but I just... I'm not sure if I care enough. One thing I do have access to is, uh, there's a, there's a Vive in the house, and I'd really love to model something in VR. Because anytime I put that thing on, I can't help... There's a... <laughs> Valve, uh, the guys who make Portal have, like, a really, <laughs> like, weird game for the Vive. 
And it's like a, it's like a bunch of sort of like mini games, but there's one where it's just like an archer game and you shoot stick figures, and I find that ungodly addicting. Like, it's real bad. I'll just sit there and like shoot stickmen with arrows for literally hours, and people are like, "What are you doing? Can I do something?" I'm like, "No, I'm killing stickmen. I'm beating my high records. Like, go away." And it's just, it's bad. It's real bad. <laughs> But uh, they do have fun sculpting programs, and I see people make stuff like that, and I'm, I would love to make one and then uh, export it, clean up the mesh, and then 3D print it. I think it's actually really funny. I'm used to the oil paint caking up a lot thicker than it is doing on this right now. And I think that's because when I paint on canvas, there's more tooth, there's more texture. And this is just sort of smooth, relatively smooth underneath. I don't know how well the sanding actually worked, but uh, so it's not... It's not sticking it just comes it all comes off on my brush which is actually really weird but I was, I was hoping this would be like way thicker but instead it's like an awkward it's just an awkwardly painted chunky textured thing but i'm like god this thing is terrifying it's gonna be hanging on my wall in my office and just giving me nightmares every night it's gonna be fantastic <laughs> um <laughs> put this out <laughs> Step one, acquire an enemy. Step two, put this outside their window. Um, that was dumb. Do, do, do. I also like, can't go without listening to music, so I'm just randomly listening to Spotify right now. For headphones. Because I'm tired of YouTube being like, just copyrighted there. That was perhaps excessive with the blue. I should also carve out my mouth hole because it's, uh, Totally full of paint right now. Palette knives for the win. This is just quite nice. On the insides of all the eyes, there's like a bunch of. <laughs> I've been mostly putting red around the eyes, so there's like these blobs of red paint just caked on the inside of the eyes, and it's quite horrifying. I don't think my phone camera will capture this, so I'm not going to really try that hard, but it's real creepy. Remember that bit I said about don't make your lips hard? I think I just like it when I... I think, I think it honestly looks better when I sort of blot it out like this. I need a taller screen. I can't... What? Ooh. Yes. That's the thing. I was like, trying to... F I'm, I usually try to make sure the camera angle is like not totally trash while I'm filming. And I'm just like, oh, I can't see if anyone's existing. one I put in there earlier. Um, but I try to make sure that you can at least see sort of what I'm doing. It helps now that the sun is going down and it's cloudy out. But uh, when I'm like, I can't see chat and do that at the same time because YouTube windows are weird and I just realized I can pop chat out into a separate window. So yes. No, I've done that. <laughs> and now everything is right for the world. Not really. I think I might actually call this dog. I'm just sort of I don't think I'm making it better, I think I'm just sort of touching it repeatedly and eventually coming back to the same basic thing that I have. Why is there any more blue and like weird colors in here? Grumble. <laughs> That's all I want. All I want is weird colors. Yeah, this is going to take forever to dry. I think I'm just gonna have to, I'm gonna fill a jar, mason jar with rice, and then just like sit in here and put it on top of the shelf so my cat doesn't get in and get oil paint all over him. Because the only time he ever gets into my stuff, like literally the only time, is when I leave like piles of paint out. And then he'll step in it and he tracked it on the carpet and like got it all over his whiskers and his paws and it was just like, why? <laughs> How do you do this? Maybe I should only... I think I can make the nose red, but it just looks a little too... Something was... It needs... It needs blue by the nose. That's what it needs. It's also less red on this nostril, because it's pretty egregious. Blue... Yeah, it needs 
blue by the nostrils on the sides, and then some burnt sienna and uh, ultramarine blue, I think, maybe, to pop out the nostrils, because they look a bit flat. Which is weird, because it is a 3D bloody model. Uh, <laughs> the fact that it can't generate its own shading is strange to me. But I don't know. How can you still see the print lines on his nose? It's unacceptable. There. I'm just like sniffing all the oil paint fumes right now. This is vile. Oh no. That was a little bit too much blue. <laughs> Okay, I'll just spread it down, put some blue in over here, maybe do that one more here. Wow, that's, that is absolutely 100% way too much blue. What have I done? That's okay. I have lots of other weird colors just chilling there and I can just use them. Cover some of the horrible blue that I've just put on. It's like a little blue. Whatever I did, it's far too much. This thing is intensely unsettling. <laughs> Wow. I have like these awkward blue sort of cat eye look right now. I'm not really sure that's uh, quite what I was going for. Smooth that out a bit. Uh, I don't even know if you can see what I'm doing. I can barely see what I'm doing. <laughs> do, do, do. Close to straight burnt sienna into the corners of the nostril as I can. And I was saying something because I have a lot of paint on my brush. Pretty sure the paint isn't even transferring. There we go. This is a great way to just like take out all of your aggression on a paintbrush. Things are shifting in the background because my office is a mess and I thought a cat was trying to break in. Cool, I'm gonna do a real intense purple blob here. feeling it. I'm feeling, I'm feeling like eyebrows and that it might be uh, nearing completion. I actually like the way their lips turned out. They're really soft and fuzzy but they're, I think they look kind of nice. sad little mouth slot. I just like cut it out really badly and I was like, oh, the paint will cover it, right? And it totally didn't. But that's fine. <laughs> Live and learn. Like I said, I expected this paint to go on way thicker than it did. So we got, yeah, like all the uh, print lines and the weird supports and stuff. Like, that'll be gone, right? It's not. That's, again, I don't really care that much. I want 
just like a really weird definition. The corners of these lips and I can't, there's so much paint on here, I can't get the paint off my brush. Which is usually the problem I run into when I put paint on this thick. Just wiped as much as I could off my brush and then I just grabbed some straight, I don't know, I'm gonna call it lizard. It's like alizarian crimson or whatever and I'm just jamming that aggressively into the lips. Which are now far too red and I need to add some gray back into. And by gray I mean fleshish color? Fleshish? Fleshish? -ish -ish? Oddly enough, it seems to be getting easier to talk the longer I do this. And I'm not sure if that's just because it doesn't look as terrible and I don't need to think as hard about what to do, or if I'm just getting used to multitasking with these two particular tasks. Smoothing this lip out again. And grabbing some more, I don't know, random random flesh tone. Scratching that again, get that like weird little lip filtering crease thingy thing. This looks that was dumb. It looked way, way too dark in this corner, so I added some straight white to it, which is probably the wrong approach to take there. <laughs> Spotify's been playing like all the music that I just don't, not that I dislike it, but I, it's not like my fun music that makes me want to paint and dance and stuff. That's okay. Yes. So much blue and I took out the blue and I'm like oh there's no blue left. The perpetual dwarf. I'm usually like adding a little blue and you know, like head crack head blue thing. Helps darken it a little bit and it's also just like one of those places where it seems like it'd be thinner skin and you'd see sort of under skin blue texture. Usually whenever I throw blue into stuff it's because there's either crazy shadows or it's like thinner skin where it's not super pinky and rosy and you do see a little more of that blue. This thing is mighty creepy. It is, it is unsettling. <laughs> I'm looking at it and I am unsettled. <laughs> like I said, all I want to do is traumatize my students on Halloween. <laughs> it's the only thing I want. That and to not get arrested by the public or the transit authority if I uh, end up wearing this on the on the train, which frankly I probably won't because it's it just it just feels like I'm not good. Idea. I just put a pretty, uh, pretty intense red blob in the center of the one eye. I like that, that little like pink nub on the inside of your eye, right, right in here. And it's perhaps a bit much. This is way less stylized than I wanted. Oh, but when I had it stylized, it looked terrible. That's okay. 
still don't hate it. It does. It does look like an oil painted version of more or less my face. That is really nothing like my skin color, which is apparently significantly yellower than this. But every time I tried to make it yellow, it looked. Now that that forehead pretty much looks like my skin. Well, <laughs> I'm gonna add eyebrows. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah. What do my eyebrows look like? They go like in here. I should probably not do super crazy on my first day. Really weird eyebrows. They like come up like this and then they like swoop down really intense on the side. My mom's like, here are really nice eyebrows. I'm like, I. I'll take your word for it. So it's like this. Kind of looks like mine. They're like, they're like straight and then they curve over. Oh wow, this is infinitely creepier with eyebrows. <laughs> Fantastic. Worst thing is getting stupid eyebrows symmetrical. Especially when you can't see the other one. Wow, that is not even close to being symmetrical. Oh. oh my, that's sadly closer. That's too low. The beauty of oil paint is I can go back and just smudge that out. We're just gonna keep going. It's too much lag in the uh... The fun thing about this is that it actually kind of looks like a legit eyebrow texture. This would actually probably be a fantastic time for a palette knife. Which is easier because I kind of put this color all around the eyebrows, not planning on messing up, but since that's the color that's there, it's easier to sort of blend in. I'm lying because there's now a giant blob of that color in my eyebrow where I do not want it. 100% lying to you guys right now. <laughs> Maybe not. It's actually not terribly unsymmetrical. Now I'm gonna do a weird thing. I'm just gonna put straight uh, ultramarine blue on the eyebrows. It's gonna work, I have faith. Oh lord, my eyebrows are blue now. But they need to be darker, and this is how I'm gonna do it. And the more I play with it, the more mixed in it will be. This is a very satisfying eyebrow texture. Looks like I've painted my eyebrows on. Not not in the good way, like the, the awkward bit where it's just an obvious pencil line on your eyebrow. I don't know. Not quite what I was going for. Now my eyebrows are green. What more could you possibly want in life? Also really bad my eyebrows just like there's like a thick blob and then it just gets like thinner. I can never recreate that whenever I'm trying to like paint it or do anything, it's just like nope. Lord, weird to see an eye. Do 
Fantastic song, Health to the Company by High Kings. Oh no, my McAfee protection is expired. No one cares. It looks like literal vomit. That's... That's... How do I fix that? <laughs> Once again, I hate trying to get things symmetrical. <laughs> My biggest pet peeve. Let's see if I can blend in the eyebrow lines a bit better so they look less penciled on. Perhaps this will also help it to be less incredibly awkward. Not the way I did it, but that doesn't matter. I don't think this necessarily looks like face anymore. I think the character I did myself actually looks more like my face. But it, it looks like a face. <laughs> Which at this point is uh, better than I expected when I first started painting this, so I will take it. And also, I, there's so much paint on here, I just I can't really do anything about it anymore. hang this on my pegboard. Put wax paper behind it, maybe? <laughs> maybe paint the inside of it. Um, I think... Call it done. Let me just uh, touch up this little bit. Oh no! <laughs> Let me just touch up. <sighs> Plot twist: I actually stabbed the mask, and then I have to go back and redo a bunch of work. And I cry inside <laughs> and outside. It'd be very annoying. For some reason, I like doing like little little dots at the corners of the mouth. I think it helps make them a little, uh, make them stand out a little bit more. No. 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 Sure. I'm looking for an upbeat song and I go by I Thank You by ZZ Top. It's more of a creepy song in my opinion, but whatever. It's catchy. Can't not sing it when it comes on. After this, I'm just gonna go and see if I can get most of the way through the book I'm reading. It's quite a good book. It's like the fourth book in the Kingslayer Chronicles, which just came out 
within the last few weeks. It's, it's a lovely good read. Um, I've been considering writing and sort of writing blurbs from a book for like a novel just because I'm spaz. Uh, and I'm just like finally getting back into reading when I was in middle school. They started making us read like, you know, proper proper books and not like short stories and such. Or, like old ten page things. Um, and I think I'm gonna call this done. Maybe. Wait, not quite. Clean up the blobs of paint that I left everywhere. Like crazy person. Wow, that's so much paint. Um But uh yeah, so as soon as they started making us read novels and then do that gross thing where they're like, now how about you analyze these for symbol symbolism for like four months? I'm like, ooh, but how about I never read again? Because this is awful. I like didn't, I lost all will to read outside of school because I had to read so much crap that I like wasn't interested in and they'd just be analyzing symbolism instead of just being like, why is this an important book in history kind of thing? And it's like, You'd be analyzing all this stuff and like not have any context for like why you're reading the book in the first place, why it's important. And it was weird. I mean I also don't like symbolism anyway, just as a thing <laughs> to study. It's not it's not interesting to me, but also like the fact that we were reading all of these books and we didn't know why was really weird to me. They're like, oh they're classics, but like why? Who cares? And why are they all written by, like, European white men? <laughs> or, uh, Jane Austen. Like, those are the only people that we read. That and the Iliad. Which, which... That, that was the one book I stopped reading, like, 20 pages into, and I'm like, spark notes! Because <laughs> the Iliad. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, I think I'm actually gonna call this done. Let's wipe some of the egregious blobs of oil paint out of the middle of this. And, yeah. Yeah, I just got a little paint all over my hand, so I did that. Yay. Oh, I'm gonna get paint on the light when I do this, but ow. Oh, oh, that's hot. Lying. They lied. LEDs are not low light. Ah, uh, yes. Perfect. I'll post pictures of this later because it's really awkward. It doesn't really look like me at all, but that's okay. Once I find the button, how do I stop? Just...